There are times when you go with your best and forget the percentages. This is that time for the Chicago Cubs as they align their rotation for the best-off of National League Division Series against the Washington Nationals. Regardless of what happens in Thursday night's glorified exhibition game, Kyle Hendricks is the Cubs' best option to start Game 1 on October 6 at Nationals Park. If the Cubs are going to beat the Nationals, they'll need all five games. Hendricks has a 2.39 ERA and 12 starts since returning from the disabled list. If the Cubs need a starter to pitch games 1 and 5, Hendricks gives them the best option against Max Scherzer. There's understandable interest in starting a left-hander to combat Bryce Harper and Daniel Murphy, but Hendricks has limited left-handed hitters to a .245 batting average. His array of pitches can keep opposing batters, left and right, off balance. Hendricks has pitched in his share of big games, most recently beating Clayton Kershaw and the Dodgers in the clinching game of the 2016 NL Championship Series and starting Game 7 of the 2016 World Series. Left-hander Jose Quintana provides a nice fit for Game 2, likely against Steven Strasburg. This will mark Quintana's first postseason, but his calm demeanor should serve him and the Cubs well, even if they trail in the series. For all of John Lester's playoff experience, that includes three World Series rings, he labored more than usual in the second half. A Game 3 start at the confines should provide a high degree of comfort against Gio Gonzalez or Tanner Roark Lester has pitched well against the Nationals this season, but the return of Tree Turner will give Lester fits in trying to harness him on the bassa paths. This likely is Jake Arrieta's last hurrah with the Cubs, and his recent credentials include two World Series wins. But Arietta's right hamstring isn't at full strength, and the four-day break will allow him to gain more strength for a Game 4 start. There's no room for John Lackey in the rotation. But he deserves to be on the roster, even before he limited the Cardinals to two hits in six innings of Wednesday's division clinching game. Lackey has been a starter his entire career, but could step in if one of the starters gets knocked out early, or Arietta's hamstring is deemed not strong enough for him to pitch. Arietta's start in Sunday's regular season finale could go a long way in determining the Cubs' comfort, but Lackey will be ready. As Anthony Rizzo declared during the Cubs' division clinching celebration Wednesday night, Lackey didn't come here for no bleeping haircut. Gonzales at Chicago Tribune.com Twitter at Gonzales.